It's that time of year again, which is to say that it's just about Halloween for those who celebrate it. For that matter, in many cultures, this is considered to be the time of year when the veil between the worlds is thin. It's time of year that many associate with fear. That makes sense because with the winter solstice rapidly approaching in the northern hemisphere, the days only get darker. Fear of the dark is normal. Humans are a diurnal species, and the majority rely largely on vision, so darkness can be dangerous. Thus, dark sky activism speaks to people's primordial fears, and it seems that the activist minority is pitted against a majority of normal people who fear the dark. However, many dark sky activists openly admit to fear of the dark. A notable example of this is Paul Bogard. Bogard? However you pronounce his name. Who wrote the landmark book, the End of Night, among other books about light pollution. In that book, he says that maybe we shouldn't back away from our fear of the dark and instead get to know it. Other activists have echoed similar attitudes. Looking at it from that angle, preserving the night sky is about facing our fears, and that can be a beautiful thing. Fear isn't always a negative emotion, as evidenced by the popularity of spooky season. Yes, we should respect people's fear of the dark, but if they aren't willing to overcome it, they can at least stop shining their lights at everyone else.